Everybody in this room knows someone that has suffered from cancer. And if you're unfortunate like I am, you have seen them lose the battle, the battle that cost them the last several years of their life. A cure to cancer has been elusive because it's an inside job. It's hard to distinguish cancer cells from healthy human cells, and that is what my project aims to solve. In the 1970s, it was found that most cancer cells on their surface display a set of sugars, the modified T antigen or the T antigen. Think of these as chemical mugshots that distinguish cancer cells from healthy human cells. Despite having known this for the last 40 years, why have we made no therapeutic advance exploiting these? And that's because we've, una we've been unable to produce these glycoconjugates in the lab in any significant amount to study and then leverage. My thesis has engineered a common bacteria, Escherichia coli, for the, for the large-scale efficient production of these same glycoconjugates. Uh, kind of like piecing Lego blocks together, I put enzymes together, and you can see that I can now produce the T antigen, and I'm working on the modified T antigen. What this means is that soon, you'll be able to get injected with a glycoconjugate that trains your own immune system to fight cancer. Think about it. Think about if you could walk over to Gannett, get a shot, and be protected against most forms of cancer. Well, now that we've cured cancer, let's talk about two other applications of the same glycoconjugates that I make in the lab. Um, amoebiasis is a, is a disease that is caused by a pathogen known as Entamoeba histolytica. Entamoeba histolytica targets T antigens and exploits these for its infection. It leads to bloody diarrhea, especially in third world countries. And this bloody diarrhea costs, costs over 100,000 deaths per year. Now, with the ability to produce these same T antigens in the lab, we can study these to identify inhibitors that will inhibit the pathogenesis caused by Entamoeba histolytica. Finally, a topic that's more germane to old graduate students in the audience like me. I'm sure you've begun to hear your joints creak. Uh, perhaps you're wondering how your joints are lubricated through your youth. This is because of a protein called lubricin that has these same T antigens, and the T antigens provide a gel-like ability to the lubricin that enables almost friction-free movement of bones. As we get old, lubricin wears and tears, and now the bones begin to rub against each other, leading to osteoarthritis. Recent studies have shown that the ability to produce lubricin in the lab with these T antigens and inject them into joints leads to rejuvenation of the joints, and you can feel young and spry again. Uh, I hope to have convinced you, and I hope you'll agree with me, that my lab and the work that we have done recently in my project has opened the potential for a new class of therapeutics called glycoconjugates, thereby, making huma thereby serving humanity. Thank you.